uh, today you're going to do a strength training class. Uh, behind me, or now around me, I have a mat. You don't need it. I just have it just so that you guys can see better what I'm doing. A step bench. You don't need it. You can do, uh, I'll try to keep it things so that we don't have to involve the bench. Um, weight. I have a range. I'm lucky enough to have a range from 3 pounds all the way up to 15 pounds. It's good if you have um, at least two or three sets of weights to work with. Okay, so let's start warming up. I'm just going to get you anywhere where you are comfortably seeing the camera. Um, and you're just going to start with a tap side to side here. Just tap, tap. We'll do about maybe a uh, five minute warm up here, which will be body weight only. So you can get a few light stretches and warm up. Last four taps. Three. Last two. One more. Now I'm going to do a tap behind you. So you come back, back, back. And this gives you that opportunity to start shifting your weight a little bit differently. You can sit down a little and keep your heels down to the ground. And in a few seconds, we're going to slow this down. Plus six, five, four. Just to warm you up. Now half time that with a lunge. Down, come up. Alternate or reverse lunge. Right behind you. Last four. Three. Two. One more. Okay, stay up and tap again. And pull your arms back. So I'm still tapping behind me. You might look like this. So I just keep turning to give you a different view every few seconds. Okay, wake up your hips with knee lifts here. Lift, lift the legs up and keep your arms going. We get nice and warm. Last eight, six, last four, three. Back to a tap behind you. Back, back. Uh, again, keep your arms going. Back, back. All right, half time into a lunge. Now drop. Stand, drop, stand up. Okay, let your heart rate come up here and you can open up a little. As you are dropping into that lunge, open your chest, drop your arms pretty deep to your side. So you can get a little front shoulder stretch out of it. Four more and we're gonna slow this down and get some stretches. Last two, one more. Okay, leave one leg back. We're gonna come down, put one hand down. Open up, take a twisting lunge here, and now move your arm behind you and behind you. Again, two more. Let your hips and legs do their thing. Now come up and hold. Four, three, two. Again, circle your arm behind you. Sweep through. Two more sweeps. Down, up, stay up. Reach to the ceiling. Four, three, two. Again, circle that arm. Rotate. Rotate, come through for that shoulder. Last one, stay up and hold. Four, three. Now both hands down around your front foot. Bring this back leg in a little. So you're gonna come down, lift, stretch. Again, down, lift, stretch, down. Lift that back leg up and every time you come up, just lift it a little bit higher. Down, up. Again, down. Okay, now leave that foot back and hinge up and down, up with your lunge. So you're heating up this front leg here. Last four, four, three, last two. Let's stand up and knee lift again. Lift, lift, six, five, four, three. Now get those taps going behind you again. Back, back, open your chest again. If you want to roll back or roll forward even, do what you want. Last six, five, we're going to half time it. Step back, reverse lunge, down, up, down, up. Stomach engaged, chest up. Keep looking forward, four, three, let your arms do their thing. Last one. Okay, now go to your side that you have not stretched yet. So for me, that's right leg back. Right hand down for me, and twisting open to center. And you're going to do the same thing. You're going to sweep that arm right to the count, and you're going to roll it back. Down, up, down, up. Two more. Last one. Hold your arm up. Stretch. Eight, seven, six, 
you have two more sets, we'll just speed up this hold here. Roll that shoulder open, four, three, last two, let your hips dip a little. Stay up and hold, four, three, one more time, circle it back, four, three, two, last one, hold it up, four, three, all right, now you're gonna come up, hinge up and drop, lift, down, up. So this time you're heating up that other leg here. You're gonna get a little stretch on that back leg. Last one, come all the way up. Okay, pick up your lighter set. So I'm gonna go with a five pound pair to warm up your arms. So stick it right up the center, hips right under you, get a good neutral position on your neck, your chest, and then pull up, up, down, up. Just your light weight. Just letting your upper body know that we're gonna start using it. Three, last two. Bring your arms to your side. Delt raise, come up at about 90 degrees. So you want this to hit that cap of the arm on a nice delt. Last two, one more time. Back to your upright row. Four, three, last two. One more now. Hold it up a little bit higher and pulse this up, up. For six, five, four, three. Now let's bring the arms all the way up here. You're gonna wake up your chest muscles. Right here, come in, out, in, out. Four, three, next two. On the last one, hold it in, hold it in, and now pulse them towards each other. Don't do this, and don't do this. Don't ever Pitch your weights off each other. You want to not upset the joints. You want to use your muscle here. Keep that squeeze. Four, three, two. Now bring it down to center and do a bicep curl. So you should be still feeling that front of the arm here. Last three, two more. Last one, let's bring it back down to the floor. You can set your weights down. Here you do some modified push-ups. Go ahead for a full out push-up if you would like. So I'm gonna come to the knees. You want your hands right under your chest and shoulders. If they're out here, pull them in. If they're too wide, make sure you're not doing this, okay? Get a clean drop. And my chest is tapping the floor, and then you're coming up. You want a soft bend at that arm. Again, isn't she good? Four, three, two, last one. Now we'll come up into a high plank. Hold your high plank. Five, four, three. Now open up your legs behind you here. You're gonna take a wide stance. Um, this is good. So if this is hard for you to stay here like this, first thing is to make sure everything is flexing and helping you out. Don't rock back on your heels. Don't stick your butt up. Keep it on the tiptoes. Engage your front side. That's including your fronts of your shoulders here and your chest. Now I'm gonna pick up my right arm and hold out. For six, we're gonna do the switch on the other side. If that's too much, don't do it. Switch arms, eight. You wanna stay squared off to the floor. Don't let your hip roll open. Okay, both hands down, back to center, and then to the knees. Push-ups again, six of them. Five, four, three. Keep your neck neutral, don't let it flop. Last one. All right, all the way back up. And let's get your medium set. Whatever that is for you. I'm gonna grab some eights. Upright row now. You can see you just did this a few seconds ago. We're just raising that weight amount by a few increments at a time. Okay, up. You're pulling up, keep, keep your breathing smooth. Three, last two, one more. Back to the delt raise. So that's with a bent arm here. Up. So I feel the difference already from the five to eight. Four, three, last two, one more. Okay, back down and up right row again. Three, we're coming up in two, one more, stay up. A little higher now, pulse it up, up, six, five, four, three. Bring the arms even higher. Remember we did a chest fly earlier. So bring those arms in, in, out. In, out. You want your elbows to stay up as high as you can here. 
Come in, out. You want those forearms to be parallel. Try not to go like this or get them in an A-frame. Okay, hold the next one in and pulse. Remember we did that earlier. Uh, if you can imagine there's maybe an apple, something the size of an apple between your dumbbells. Right between them, squeeze that apple. Last four, four, heating up now, I hope. Okay, bring it down to your bicep curl. So that's the same series you just did a second ago, uh, that big circuit, or that warm-up circuit. Two more. Okay, bring the weight down, back to your floor. You're gonna get more push-ups. Okay, so you can be modified, or you can do full out. Go ahead and start your push-ups. So down, up. Again, even if you're doing this full push-up and you wanna see what it feels like, you can come down and if you get stuck, put your knees down and push out of it. Don't worm your way out. Okay, if, if it's too hard to go low, half your push-up and then come up. Okay, you wanna build that wrist and forearm strength. Last four, three, two, one more high plank. Come up, high plank, pull. <laughs> nice song. <laughs> All right, last four. Four, three, two, same thing here. Open up the legs, so you're in a wide stance here and lift one arm. If that's too much, don't do it. You have four, three, two, switch sides. Off with that arm. Five, four, three. Okay, both hands down. Step back into center. Come on up. All right, let's do a little bit of legs here real quick. So I will show different angles. I'm gonna put my right foot forward, left foot back. You're hitting the lunge. Okay, so you come down, up. A stationary lunge here. Uh, so you wanna get your front leg as low as you can. Come down and lift, down, up. So in the second round on this, I'll probably add some dumbbells. Last four, three, yeah, two, one more. Okay, now come down and hold. Give me as low as you can. You want this leg to be parallel to the floor as best you can or below parallel. But this usually stops you if you're already that low. Fantastic, if not, try to work towards being low. Seven, six, five, Four, that leg is hovering over the floor. Move your lunge again, down, lift, down, lift. Two more, one more, isolate, hold, hold. Six, four, three. Again, single lunge here, go down, then up, down, up, last two, last one. Third and final, hold, hold, eight, six, four, three, Two, let's stand up. Okay, get an even bigger set of weights. Um, so I'm gonna go with my 15s, whatever is your heaviest. Okay, and back to your upright row. So if you've got a much heavier weight, make sure your hips are under you. Chest up, shoulders down and back. Then row right up the front of you. Up you. Remember to take water breaks whenever you want. And keep this in the front half of you. When people come down, they sometimes sag. And look what that does to the shoulders back there. You don't want to round them. Stay up. Keep your stomach engaged. It helps. Do four more here, four. If it's too much, you can alternate. Last two, one more. Okay, now bring your arms to your sides. So you got that delt raise to do again. Up and down. So I'm showing slower. If your weight is a little heavy, you can do a couple things here. One at a time. Make sure you're not tipping into it to simply get the lift. If anything, bring it a little lower. But you're aiming to try to get your arm completely parallel to the floor. Or you're doing both together. Last two, one more. Okay, let's visit your bicep curl again. Up and down. One, two, down.
down. Three, four. Up, curl, release that curl, but not to a hang. Okay, two, up, up two, down two, keep it coming. Up for two, down for two. Breathe out, exhale on that lift. Last four, count. Three, one more bicep curl, two. Last one, let's set these down. Okay, and then back to your push-ups again. Okay, full or modified, go ahead. Down, up, down, up. Four more push-ups, four. Three, two, last one. All right, coming up. Now you're gonna pick your other side here. So you have that lunge, come down and up with the lunge. I actually get so sweaty, I have to be on a mat these days. Uh, so better footing on the wood floor. Four more lunges, four, three, last two, get ready to hold. Come on down and hold. This is your longer set. Uh, last time we mentioned you want this front leg to be as parallel to the floor as you can because you're trying to get 90 degrees here at the knee line or deeper but your back leg over that mat uh, you don't want to release it it's like maybe an inch off the floor so you have three whole circuits here move your lunge down up down two more all right hold it down for eight counts eight six Nice and tall, right? Move your lunge for four again. Drop, lift, three. Yeah, two. Drop for me. Listen to me saying it. Down, hold. Six. Almost there. Four, three. Back to your bigger set again. Get your heavier pair. Upright row. Again, but you have your heavier pair. Chest up, shoulders back. Weights right out in front. Up. Down. All right, last four, four, three, last two. Okay, arms bent, back to your delt raise. Remember, you can single these out or you can drop to a lesser weight at any time. Up, up, you could half time it and slow down. Let's get four more pounds. Four, three, one or two more lifts. Okay, bicep curl, we're slow. Up, two, down, two, again. If you're feeling exerted, that's great. You want to get real tired. I always say in my classes, I promote failure, muscle failure. That means you're pushing it real hard. Okay, again, up, and down, up, down, two more bicep curls, up, down, one more, okay, set those weights down, remember earlier in your warm up, you had one leg forward, one leg back, and you came down with one hand, let's go back there again, feels good for a stretch, um, if you need to, you can take a knee here, but we're going to move that arm again, in four, three, two, let's rotate, Ro go back first, down, sweep, down, sweep, last one. Okay, now, hold, three, two, both hands down, and you're bringing that back leg in just a little bit here. We're coming down, lift, lift, again, down, lift, 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 two more, down, lift, 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 down, Lift, lift, and now take those hands in front. Here's I'm real light on my fingertips here. And I'm a little bit shifted forward. So I feel this in my lower quad. So we're gonna come down, up, down, up. So I'm gonna turn to the front in a second, but I'm just kind of hinging at the hip and I'm trying to keep my front heel grounded. Down, up. Down, up, four, three, two, one more, and down, down, lift, lift again, drop, 
Lift your leg and then higher and higher. Down, lift that leg up higher, higher. Last one, down, lift, lift. Step back in for a dangle over the floor here. Don't lay yourself on that front leg. Keep it off and then just reach for that floor. Down, up, down, one more. Let's stand up and switch. Okay, so you're gonna switch sides. So you have that other leg back. This will feel good on that back leg. You just work to stretch and we're twisting open. Eight more counts, eight, six. Remember this one, we're gonna do a circle back and then forward. Go ahead, circle back, sweep and sweep. Two more, last one, hold it up. Four, three, circle back again. Four, three, last two. One more, up and hold. Okay, now you're gonna come back with both hands. Okay, we're scooting a little forward here. Come down, lift, lift higher and higher. Touch the floor, lift the leg up, and then higher and higher. Down, lift, lift, two more. Down, lift. Lift, lift, last one. Up, 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 and now that back leg, you're real light on the toe. Okay, so you wanna get a light dangle over the floor here. Touch, come up, touch, come up. Or maybe you might not touch. Okay, it's great for balance, work on our stability. Last two, one more. Crouch and lift again. Down, lift, lift. Lift, drop, lift, two, three, one, two, three, four, one more. Up, up, keep your heel down on that front leg. Make sure you're not resting on that thigh. Hinge up a little, and now move this down and up. Four, three, you have two, one more. Stand all the way up. Let's get back to lifting again. Um, so let's do one big dumbbell. I'm gonna do an overhead tricep and then we'll superset it with a light kickback. So one big guy overhead. All right, come down, up. You might be combining two weights. You might grab two tens or two eights to make it a little heavier. You want your elbow up to the ceiling. You want your arms nice and long here. Don't let them come too forward and don't let your hips come out. Okay, keep your stomach tight. Last four, three, and we're gonna stay to the side so that you can see. Hold your next one down, hold. Right, so you're not releasing it, right? Still hold it to where you feel it. Now pulse up. Six, five, four, three. Single lift again. Push through it. Three, last two. Bring it all the way up overhead. Okay, grab those lighter sets, a lighter pair. I'm gonna grab five. Bring your arms to your side. You're gonna do half a squat or a quarter squat, really. And then you can hinge forward at the hips. Don't do it like this. Not a kickback. You wanna bring your arms parallel to the floor, shoulder to elbow, and start there. Make sure your shoulders aren't creeping up towards your ears. And make sure your arms aren't coming out wide to the side. Okay? You wanna get right in, hone right in on those triceps. You want to be pushing. You want to feel that push. Push your back of your hand towards the ceiling. Last four. Three. Keep your stomach tight. Okay, let's bring your arms out in front. And these are your lighter set. Go on to a reverse fly. It's your light pair. So it should feel kind of good. I'll show you both angles here. Four, three, 
two. Now we're going to come back up to that tricep kickback. So your arms come back up a little higher. Press that kickback. So I'm doing is um, going up the ladder, down the ladder. So that means you're going to finish on your heavier set with that one dumbbell for your overhead push. Last two here. One more. Okay, you can set that down and go to your overhead on your tricep. So you got your one dumbbell again. Take a few clean breaths. Drop and press to the ceiling. Four, three, two. All right, bring it down and hold. And here, you're not trying to release it. Don't let it just hang there. Give it something. I know it's hard, I know it's hard. I feel it too. All right, two lifts from here. One, and then you're done with that. Set that down. Okay, um, I'm gonna do, I think I said I was gonna do some lunges, but let's move on to a squat. I'm gonna have you pick your weight that you wanna hold. Um, I'm going to go with the eight. What you're going to do is sit into a squat. So you can choose the width of your squat. I'll do a modified one here just to show. Uh, so I'll take a wide stance. You can keep the weight here, here if you need to modify. Or just hold one dumbbell with both hands. Start sitting down and driving up when you're ready. Uh, so uh, I'm really sweaty, uh, but my heart rate is down. Um, so the squats will pick your heart rate back up. Get your depth in your squat. You want to get as low as you can. Four, three, we're gonna stand up and push these to the ceiling. Press up, up, down, up. So now my heart rate's back up. That's what we're looking for. Last two. Okay, shoulder press now. Keep that heart rate coming in. Start to collect it again. Four, three, two, one more. Here we go. Squat again. Down, up. Uh, you have the chance here, if you are wanting a little more beef to the workout, you do a squat thruster. Four, three, two, you're going to keep your palms facing you. Stand up, press to the ceiling. Four more here. Last two. Shoulder press now. Two more. Last one. Now let's come down for a plank. You're in a high plank. I'm checking your time. Okay, cool. I wanted to keep this around 30 minutes. You're at 28 right now. You probably finish with about probably finish at about 35 minutes here today. I want to get you some abs. This is your abs too, but we'll do some straight up abdominal work. Six, five, four, three. Okay, stand up. Um, I really want your arms tired. Mine are starting to start to shake, so that's good. I'm going to go with a heavier pair, with one hand each holding a dumbbell. So we're going to go for your Arnold press today. Um, you're going to do a chest fly and a shoulder breast combo. In and up. In, up. Come in, up. So this is pretty modified. I've got a low covering in front of my chest here. Low, then high. If you need it harder, your arms stay higher on that chest fly part. Two more. My mic is really bugging me today. It keeps hitting my mouth. Again, in, out, one more. 
Last one. Okay, bring the weights right to your side. Now you're gonna lunge again with your weights. Don't let them bring you down. Roll your shoulders back, chest up. Down, down. So your first couple might be a little wobbly as you start to compensate for what you're holding. Feel it out. I want to get a little bit of a circuit here. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Ready for an upright row. Stand up. Upright row. Four. Three. Two. Lunge again. Four. Three. Two. Stand up. Upright row. Four. Three. One more set of each. Reverse lunge. Four. Three. Two. Last one, guys. Upright row. Four. Three. One more. Awesome. Let's set these down. And I'm going to do an ab set, no bench. I didn't even use it. Sorry if you pulled it out. Um, but I'm trying to keep in mind what people have for equipment. Okay, so let's get you to the floor here. Take both feet down. I'm gonna do a heel dig, because uh, I'm bigger on the back side. So I have to figure out how to get my low back down, because I have a lot of space there. If you don't, and you can just flat foot it, go ahead, now pulse up. Your heart rate might still be up, so this is a good chance to just bring it down for a sec. Don't head chuck. Use your upper abs. I like a balance of pushing my head into my hands and giving my hands a push back to my head. You don't want to strain your neck, but you want your neck strong at the same time. Five, four, three. Okay, now legs come to 90. Keep pulsing. Take one elbow to one leg and hold. Hold it, just hold it. Eight counts, eight. Whatever side you're going towards now, all you gotta do is roll into a side plank. Hold. Side plank. Stack yourself up. Eight counts, six, four, three, come down. Opposite elbow, hold. You're trying to touch there. Eight counts. And then you're going into your opposite side plank. Four, three, two, side plank. Come up as quickly as you can. When you're planking, everything facing the ground is working. So if you're dunking, push up. Four, three, now center opposite elbow to thigh. You want to be able to get your opposite elbow to the touching that leg. I'm real big on the hip flexors, keeping them loose and stretched out and strong. So this is, like if you were standing, this would be the equivalent of a knee drive, but you get the bonus of the abs. Six, five, I'm gonna keep it simple. First side you held to, hold, hold. So now you hopefully you're feeling it. Four, three, roll to that side plank, up. Same thing, if you're dunking at all, ugh, push it up. I, I say that there's a fireball there and you don't want to touch it. Eight, six, four, three, back down, single your crunch. Five, and you're gonna be holding. Hold to that second side, hold. Five, four, three, side plank. As quickly as you can get there. Push up. 12, 11, 
10. You're not going to face the ceiling again. You're going to come back down to face your mat. Elbows and toes plank. Right here. Hold. Hold your plank. This is when people start to get real tired. Um, so don't sag here. Do everything you can to flex. Now baby pike. Pike. Plank. Pike. Plank. Two counts of each. One, two, catch it with your core. Up, down. Keep going, up, down. Up, you wanna feel your abs on the up. Two more, up, down. One more, up, down, and release. Okay, you're done. Get some stretches in. I'm gonna film another couple of classes, so. Great job. If you have requests for classes, put them in the comments. Have a good day.